Hey guys, and welcome back as we continue to unrush rush Rob. Last video, you had me put down all the expos, so that's why I did. Builders are still working on them, so they got about a day left uh, before they finish upgrading. We have two builders available though, and a laboratory available. Now, based on the previous video comments, you guys mentioned that you wanted me to put down infernos. I've seen multiple comments for that. So that's what I'm gonna do today. One of those, one of those builders are gonna go towards an inferno upgrade. The other is actually gonna go towards the Grand Warden. I did mention in previous videos that I'm always going to prioritize the heroes first on these upgrades, and we're gonna have enough by the end of this one to put down the Warden to get him to level 14. Uh, going, Moving on to the laboratory, um, based on previous comments, you guys did mention that because Rushed Rob is a troop feeder for our clan wars, it makes sense to upgrade what troops are most commonly requested for. And in this case, that's gonna be Valkyries. Our Valkyries are actually quite low on Rushed Rob. They're only level four. So we're gonna go ahead and get Valkyries up to level five. And on top of that, we're also going to upgrade the healers like I mentioned last week. We're gonna insta upgrade the healers using the uh, Elixir Rune. And we're gonna get her, we're gonna get these girls to level five so that I have a stronger queen walk going on. So with that in mind, oh, you know what? We also got clan games going on right now. So I'm gonna be working on some objectives there. And we have uh, two events going on, World Power and Rock Hard. This is gonna be very valuable for us to do these because we got the builder potion that's gonna help speed up a lot of these upgrades that way I can get more of these videos out for you guys uh, so we're gonna be using Valkyries and golems as we continue to farm so with that in mind I'm usually always in a rush so let's go get that loot okay guys it looks like we have here a pretty uh, meaty base lots of loot here it's dead should be pretty pretty easy to get to however I am working with a little bit of lower level troops so this is going to be interesting. I hope it works out okay. I am not going to use my siege machine. Instead, I'm going to switch it out. I may use my CC troops. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the golems out. Kind of spaced out while I let my... Um, I'm going to have a baby dragon actually try and take out that bomber tower real quick. That way it doesn't weaken my Valkyries too much. Let's get the heroes down here. And then we're going to go ahead and send in those Valkyries along with the Warden. Let's funnel in some of... I'm just going to dump them all in there, guys. Why not just dump them all in there? I actually just realized that I got a bunch of heal spells here that... You know, and I don't know why because Valkyries don't use heal spells. I mean, they do, but I would... They would be more valuable with, um, with rage spells. So I'm going to make sure to correct that on the next one. But it looks like I'm going to be able to get everything in here. Valkyries are doing their work. They're getting healed up really nicely. Um, the Warden is going to follow the Queen, which is completely fine. Uh, everything's looking good here. Uh, I'm going to let... You know, I'll go ahead and heal these Valkyries here in the middle. Um, I don't know if I really need to even waste any more spells on this. I may just use the Warden ability and pop my King abilities early. Let's just do that. Get my King ability in there. I'm going to get my Queen ability as soon as we get closer to that Wizard Tower. You know what? I'm just going to pop that so the Wizard doesn't put in any work. That's going to be a pretty easy 3-star. Uh, I'm going to swag the rest of it because we are still... Well, I'll just put down these um, archers just for distraction or something. I don't know. Uh, I just like to start with a clean slate every time I farm here. So we're going to go ahead and just have the uh, Queen pop that ability and then they're going to work their way over to the core. That's going to be a triple. We're going to save the heal spell for the next one because we're still kind of, I don't know, being cheap about everything. We, we need a lot of farming. We need a lot of elixir, a lot of gold, dark elixir, and so that's what we're doing. So we have gotten a huge chunk of this um, objective done here. We've got enough to put down the warden, and we've got 4,200 dark elixir. That's going to go towards the Valkyrie fund. So we got 8,000 more dark elixir to get, so let's go get that loot. Here we go guys, another dead base. It's got 513,000 gold, 450,000 elixir, and 3,800 dark elixir. And we are just gonna, it's dead. So we're just gonna get it all. Let's just do this. Let's go. All right. We're gonna send in the golems from here. We're just gonna do the same thing, kind of spaced out. Let's send in some hero action. Let's get those Valkyries in there. Let's get the warden in there. Sprinkle in a few wizards for love. And then we are gonna let these Valkyries just do what they do, and that's just destroy everything. Once they get closer to the core, gonna pop that raid spell on them. 
when they get closer to splash damage, I'll drop some heals on them. Actually, yeah, I kind of botched that. Oh, they, get, they, they went right back in there. Cool, cool, cool. Gonna pop a Warden ability here soon. As soon as I can find my Valkyries, I have no idea where they are anymore. I just totally lost them. Queen goes down. Let's go ahead and send in a Baby Dragon. I'm gonna pop this Warden ability just because I felt like it. It did absolutely nothing, but you know. Okay, Valkyries are taking some heat here, so we're gonna go ahead and drop a heal for them. We are gonna go ahead and rage them up when they get closer to this Bomber Tower. Come on, gals. Okay, they kind of sort of spread apart. We're gonna get them closer to that Wizard Tower. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually save the rest of these heal spells. Gonna use these archers to get to that um, last army camp. This is gonna be an easy triple. These are dip attacks, because I am a Town Hall 11. But, however, I do have low level troops. I mean, we're talking Town Hall 9 level troops here. So, there it is, 513,000 gold. We got the 3800 Dark Elixir. I completed a challenge. I'm gonna let's see what other challenge we can do right now. What is a good one? What can we do? Destroy three Brahmer Towers. Eight Dark Elixir Drills. I think I'm gonna do that one. Yeah, let's do that because we can always snipe the Dark Elixir Drills. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start that one up. We are boosted, so we should be able to uh, get all those Dark Elixir Drills. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up uh, this comp again, and I will see you guys at the next phase. So as my troops cook up, I am going to show you an attack which may explain why I had too many heal spells in the beginning of this video. Uh, I actually didn't attack using just mass miners, and I didn't use any of the spells. I like to hold on to spells whenever I can, and I wasn't anticipating having to switch out my troop composition to do the event. So I had mass miners here, and I'm going up against a town hall that had over 500,000 uh, of each dark and elixir and almost four, uh, 3600 dark elixir. As you can see here, I just mass minored it. I have max miners for Town Hall 11, so it's pretty overpowered attack. It just overpowers the space, no spells needed, and that is why I had too many heal spells. Uh, it looks like a Town Hall 10, but it's really just a ta dead Town Hall 9, so it, should, it was no problem. Got all the loot, and there we go. Big loot take there. And I will see you guys at the next base when my troops are ready. Okay guys, I found a base here uh, that's got a lot of loot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it because again, I have pretty low level troops that I'm working with. But it took me so long to find a worthwhile base to hit that my boost ran out. So I only get one shot at this. So I'm probably going to use my siege machine for this one. Let's uh, hope this works out well. I'm going to start out with the siege machine up north. I'm going to send in the golems first, followed by some funneling wizards. Gonna send in that siege machine. He's gonna head right down the middle. Oh, we've got a CC here. So let's go ahead and make sure he, they get taken care of. Gonna go ahead and send in the heroes along with it. And the Valkyries should be good to go. I'm gonna send them on in. And then I'm gonna rage them up as soon as they get closer to the core. We're also gonna drop a heal spell on them just in case. We're going to continue to rage each group here as we go. And we're going to drop a heal in the middle. We're going to go ahead and invincible them. There, we got it. We're good. And that's all my spells. I'm going to send a baby dragon on the right to help get some of that extra loot. Looking pretty good. That Warden ability is OP. I like it. And we are going to go ahead and boost that king. Let's get him through that storage. Let's get him to wreck some of those uh, splash damage early so that we can um, continue to snipe some of these collectors here. I don't think we're going to get the 100%, but that's okay. We got most of this loot here, and we definitely got enough that we needed to do all of our upgrades. So this is a great way to end, I think. And we get the we get the event done. I'm pretty sure this is the third attack. We'll guess we'll find out. Heroes are still alive and doing we're barely alive though. Look at that. They are just barely hanging in there. Queen's gonna help out with some of these collectors. Keep in mind, guys, I was only working with 
level 3 golem and level 4 valkyries. Those are Town Hall 9 level troops there. Luckily, um, I did have... Oh, and all my heroes go down. You know, uh, you know what? I should have sent the... Actually, no, the, the mortar was going to get to it. So I got... Not too bad. I got 5,400 Dark Elixir. Uh, the bonus isn't that great because I am in Crystal 3, but let's go spend that loot. So I did, in fact, complete the event here. As you can see, that was the third attack. Um, well, so let's go ahead and spend this loot. We got the research lab going. I'm going to go ahead and get those healers maxed out, and I'm going to just insta-upgrade them right off the bat so that we can use it for our queen walks later on. So here we go. Queen is going to level 5. Maxed out completely. We're going to see a little flaming 5 next to her. So let's do that. 9.5 million. Bam. And we are going to insta-upgrade that. And there we go. Max level healers. Hopefully uh, my queen walking is going to be much smoother now. Even though my queen is still incredibly low. She's only level 20. Um, but next up is going to be the Valkyrie. We are going to go ahead and upgrade the Valkyrie so that Rush Drop can continue to do his job as he's upgrading, which is being a troop feeder for our clan wars, the Time Remnants. So here we go. Valkyries are going to be upgraded 9 days and 12 hours, so this lab is going to be busy for a while. So here we go. Valkyries to level 5. Okay. Moving right along. What did I say we were going to do next? Ah, right. The Warden. So let's go ahead and... Oh, you know what? I had... I had treasury loot I didn't know about. Okay, so we are probably, let's go ahead and let's use the Rune of Elixir here real quick. So he, that is maxed out. We are going to go ahead and put this uh, warden down, this giant wizard. And he's going to go to level 14. So let's go ahead and do that. 8.4 million, 6 days, 12 hours. Go! So the warden is now down. We've got 1.6 million left. Uh, in Elixir, which I'm probably just going to go ahead and dump into the walls because I don't, as you can see here uh, in the past, I get hit hard for loot. And I, that's, you know, the less loot I have, the less likely I'm going to get hit. So I'm going to go ahead and spend some of this Elixir. I wonder if I have enough to get to... Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and collect that. And I'm going to spend it on some walls here. We are going to use the Elixir to spend... I'm just going to spend as much as I possibly can. And that's going to do it there. And then we're going to go ahead and spend the rest of the gold. I forgot what we are going to spend it on. Ah, the Infernos. How much do Infernos cost? They cost 5 million. So what we're going to do is we are going to spend 2 million of the gold. And then we're going to drop the Infernos. So let's go ahead and put some more gold in the walls. And then the Inferno is going down. Let's go ahead. That looks like a good spot for it, actually. We'll go ahead and place the Inferno there right now. Ooh, 5 million. And that is going to take 5 days. Guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below. What do you think I should upgrade next? I did get a request to just drop all the defenses. If you want me to go ahead and do that, I will do it. Otherwise, let me know. Let me know what's the next troop I should upgrade as well. Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to doing some clan games, and I'll rush to make that next video.